And with Passover here and Easter right around the corner, it's time to mix up some cocktails to get everyone in the spring spirit. This morning in Delicious Drinks, the cocktail guru joins us virtually with sips that you can make from the comfort of your own home. Well, thanks, Roadshow team, and good morning, Roadshow viewers. Jonathan Pogash, the cocktail guru here, coming at you from my basement lab, believe it or not. This is where the magic happens. Oh, um, did you think that I wear an apron when I mix drinks at home? No, I'm very, very comfortable. Well, actually, on second thought, let's just do what we know, shall we? Well, I'm going to show you some cocktails here. Um, ranging from nice Easter drinks to maybe a Passover drink, utilizing some really nice colors, uh, because that's really what this season is all about. So let's do it, shall we? Okay, so first of all, this is a variation on a spritz cocktail. You know me, I love spritzes. I'm using a homemade syrup, and I'll tell you exactly how to do it. So first of all, I have my wine glass, and if you look at this ice cube, isn't that beautiful? That is a round ice cube with a mint leaf in it. So I'm just going to place it right into my glass, and I actually use these ice cube molds, which you can easily find on Amazon, and they make these really nice round ice cubes. So this is a gin-based cocktail. So I'm going to add one ounce of gin directly to my glass. You could actually use any kind of spirit that you might have on hand. If you have rum, this works really well. Vodka works really well too. I have some lychee liqueur. This is something called Soho lychee liqueur. We're doing three quarters of an ounce right into our glass. And this is grenadine. And you've probably seen me make it or show you how to make it on air before. This is just palm, wonderful pomegranate juice and sugar. That's it. That's what real pomegranate grenadine should be, okay? Any other substitution is usually artificially flavored, artificially colored, and really no pomegranate juice in there at all. I'm doing three quarters of an ounce of my homemade grenadine. When you're done making your homemade grenadine, um, just stick it in the refrigerator because it does need to be refrigerated. And I'm going to top this off with some sparkling wine, a little bit of Prosecco, and as well, some sparkling lemonade. And that, my friends, is the first cocktail. This is a variation on a spritz. Isn't that a lovely color? Really nice for the holiday, I think. Okay, moving on. Oh, this is a mocha martini variation uh, with mezcal, so I call it the Oaxacan mocha. So mezcal is from Oaxaca, which is a region in Mexico. Uh, tequila is also from Mexico and made from the same plant that mezcal is made from. So I have my mixing glass here and I'm going to add one ounce of mezcal. I have my double espresso vodka. I'm adding one ounce of double espresso vodka directly to the mixing glass. We have a cream, chocolate cream liqueur. This is called Mozart chocolate cream liqueur. And we'll add uh, one ounce of the Mozart mocha cream liqueur. It's really nice and thick and decadent. Lovely, beautiful, look at that. And we'll just give it a nice shake. How about that? And have I gone over this before? How long we shake for? Yes, we shake for eight Mississippi. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give this a shake. All right, you ready? You gonna count with me? We'll count eight Mississippis. There we go. Give it a nice shake. Big smile when you shake. Okay, perfect. Now we'll separate the shaker. And I have my strainer, my martini glass. And we'll just strain that right into the martini glass. Look at that. Looks beautiful. And I just happen to have a slice of blood orange. Not sure if you have blood oranges at home. If you don't, that's okay. We'll just throw that right in there. Oh, that looks lovely and decadent. We'll put this to the side and I'll make you a quick third cocktail here. Again, utilizing some of the seasonal colors. I have tequila. I know you all like tequila out there. Uh, we'll just pour about three quarters of an ounce of tequila. I have some good quality tonic water. So by the way, this is the Passover cocktail. This is a kosher for Passover tequila. This is a tonic water, just like that. And this is just a very simple cocktail. I have this uh, blue butterfly pea flower extract called Balour. And what happens is you'll see, you'll see this beautiful color changing happen just like that. And we'll give this a little stir. You see that beautiful ice cube too? Oh, look at that. Beautiful color, very nice, lovely, very seasonal. I have a lemon 
wheel that I'll just float right on top there. And here are some inspiring cocktails, colorful cocktails for Easter, for Passover, for the spring season. So thank you so very much. Have a happy, healthy, safe week and holiday. Cheers.